I would like to uh, introduce Dr. Marie Wilson, who is the uh, really the, was the inspiration behind keeping me informed on a lot of the matters in Liberia. Uh, she has a dear heart for obviously her homeland and also uh, as an American citizen, uh, wants to see America do what is right. And so uh, I appreciate you. I'd like to turn the floor uh, over to you here for a few moments. Well, I'm honored and happy to be here. And hearing the name Dr. Marie, you know, I gotta get used to that. I bless God for that and I stay humble. So um, I'm so grateful to Dr. Uh, Roland Roberts for this opportunity to come, you know, and, um, and to uh, actually accept my call and to see how he can help make a difference globally, not just because of Mama Liberia, but this was a, something that was devastating to me. It is still devastating that I was even willing to deny my citizenship as a U.S. citizen. Okay. I believe we've lost her. Uh, we'll welcome her back as soon as she is able. Uh, let me go ahead and welcome uh, one of the other great uh, supporters who has actually gave a speech uh, that included uh, our candidacy most recently, uh, Mr. James Gwick. Uh, James, I'd like to, if you'd kindly unmute. And, uh, but anyway, I'm here. Um, so like I was saying, I'm so grateful that Dr. Roland Roberts decided to listen to my call and my concern. Like I said, being a U.S. citizen all my life, not all my life, being here from a teenage days, to see that, you know, my country, Mama Liberia, who I know to be under the U.S., that is like she's been her, the daughter to uh, the U.S., and to see that things that was happening in my country that I know how uh, the U.S. had a major role to play in it, pertaining to the, the uh they are called it unnecessary sanctions. You know, if someone is guilty, let the court of law prove it. But if there's no evidence, there shouldn't be such thing put on a certain ethnic group of people or a certain class of people. So having said that, I decided to withdraw voting in the U.S. permanently until I reached out to Dr. Roberts and he was able to hear my call and say that, he, I mean, he's not the president right now, but we know by God's grace, once he becomes the president, he's a God-fearing person. He's willing to make change, and he believes in order for change to come, the United States of America need God, and which is the most important thing. With God, all things are possible. So having said that, I'm grateful to be here. Thanks to everyone, and we know we're going to win this. Thank you. <laughs> 